apply. Even though the Botanic Garden is now open to the public, we're going to continue doing Gardening Club from my back garden. Today I'm going to talk to you about training and pruning your vegetables to get the best harvest. Training your plants is really important to get the best out of them and to get the best crop from them. So you really need to know a little bit about how big your plant's going to grow. So for example here, I've got one of beans and I've chosen to make a wigwam out of bamboo because I've got a bamboo plant in the garden. But you can use all sorts of other materials to grow them up, strings and other stems. So don't feel held back if you haven't got bamboo. I've got two plants on each cane and they're going to climb up and up and up and let the beans hang down. If they weren't here, the plants would scramble across the floor and the crop would get damaged. So, I've evenly spaced my canes apart. I, I put them in straight up and then I pulled them together in the middle and just tied with a piece of string. It's really, really easy. You can also use string to tie between the canes and that'll give them extra space to hang off and also make your frame a little bit stronger. Here I've also got peas. Now peas like to scramble up something too, but they don't grow as tall. So, because I've still got the tops of the bamboo left, I've made little frames and swirls and just um, tied them in together with each other really. Um, and, but I do have to encourage the peas a little bit to climb up here because they're, again, they'll scramble. In the case of my broad beans, often people put a post at each end and strings around the sides just to keep them in. But I haven't found that necessary because I've got a bit of space, so I've left them as they are. Some tomatoes need training too. You can get a bush tomato that's happy to grow just like a bush and doesn't really need pruning. But these tomatoes like to grow up a single stem and so they need training. And I just use a bamboo cane in this situation, but I often grow them up strings too. Um, Another important part of growing tomatoes is taking out the side shoots and if you look the main stem grows up and where each leaf comes out here I've taken out side shoots. Now you can see the first truss of tomatoes there and more leaves. There's a side shoot come out. More leaves, a second truss of tomatoes. And there's a lovely side shoot to take out. And then a third truss of tomatoes. What happens when you take out those side shoots is it stops it getting too leafy and messy so you can see what's going on with the plant. But it also allows air to get through there so that it doesn't get so many diseases and pests, which is really important for protecting your plants. Also, with tomatoes, once you get your first truss of, of flowers, that's the point at which to start feeding. And you can get a specialist tomato food, but what you need is potassium, high potassium feed, and that makes it fruit more frequently and better. It's really important to do a bit of research on the crops that you're growing because some plants really benefit from support and training. Beans, cucumbers and tomatoes love to grow up lines or canes and peas like to scramble through twiggy branches. It's also really helpful to do some pruning on some vegetables. Tomatoes really benefit from the side shoots being taken out. It provides air through the plant, reducing, reducing the chance of pests and diseases, but it also lets the plant focus on growing the bits that you want, the big tomatoes. Happy gardening!